All right, welcome to another Fortnite tips and tricks video. In this episode, I've got an incredible tip for you that'll get you max wood. That's 500 wood almost instantly. So I'm gonna explore this area live because in Creative and Playground, you get different amounts of materials for destroying things. So this is a live solo match and I'm gonna show you first up how much wood and materials you actually get here. And then I'm gonna do kind of like a speed run because I'm not actually sure how fast you can do this. I've never timed it. So I'm gonna do it live as fast as I can. Not this first time, but I'll do it next. And then I'll put a little timer on the screen and we'll see just how fast we can do this. Now it looks like we do have at least one contender here. So I hope he doesn't screw me over. I'm gonna have to kill this guy as fast as possible, but oh no, he's going towards the right. So the area in question is Lazy Lagoon. And I'm sure some of you probably know this already, but if not, I'm about to show you something that is absolutely incredible and super useful. So first off, let me just show you this tip. I actually did a video about this, but I'm gonna... So first of all, that gives 55 wood for two hits. Let me just grab this real quick before this guy tries to shoot me down. So to get down from here, I did a video on this. You just jump on the diving board right down there. I, I can see it right there. I'll show you in just a second. But, so we hit this twice for 55, one more time for 19, and we're gonna destroy it in full in just a second. First, let me jump down here and stick the landing. No fall damage whatsoever. I wanna kill this guy. All right, well, I'm not sure where exactly this guy went, so I think we're in the clear right now, but the area in question where you wanna go is this octopus. Let me, let me come down here so I can show you. It's an octopus holding a trident, okay? So when you land, you could do this up here, which I did, and then jump down on the diamond board, but if you want the wood instantly, and remember, I'm gonna do a speed run in just a minute, you land here. Now, there's a chest that can spawn on the top of the octopus. So if you want to get that, you can. I don't see it right now. But what you want to do is come down here to the bottom front half of the ship. Now you can break this. Now watch here. Let me just let me just uh, drop all my wood. So we have zero wood right now. And you break it from down here. Let's see how much this gives us. So that's 157, but the bottom piece is still here. So we can go ahead and break this as well. And that's 140. So that's basically 300 wood. We're at 297. You come straight in here. And then these pallets are right here. And you can just break these. And let's see how much this gives us. And remember, I'm going to try a speed run in just a minute. And we're going to see. So right now, max wood already. If I had to guess, I would say it would take probably under 30 seconds. I'm, I'm guessing maybe 15 seconds max. Now, in addition... If you wanted, let me just go to the top here because I'm pretty sure that this little, I don't know what you would call this. It, it looks like the, the wheel, but it's, it's not the wheel. I don't know. So let me just, let me just drop all my wood. Let's just see how much this gives. Cause you could break this thing first. Okay. So that's 37. You could technically break that first, break the octopus, go down and finish that off. So maybe we'll try. Oh, here comes the, here comes my friend. Eat, really? All right, this guy's making me hold some fives for me, buddy. Yeah, you like that? You like that? Come on. Bop. All right, that guy was super cooper annoying, but we took him out. Holy smokes! All right, so now now that we took care of that guy, let's pick up our reserve wood here. And it's not just the wood that's great on this ship as well. There's tons of chests, and in addition. Let me take you on a little tour of this pirate ship. Well, of course, there's ballers that spawn in here, the hamster balls, and there's tons of cannons. And if you run out of wood, you can always come back because you're going to be max wood right away, so you can break the rest of these. And even these big pillars, I mean, they give, let's see, 24 wood a pop. But more importantly, if you go up into the captain's cabin, let me just, let me just take you there, and we'll show you what you can get out of that room. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention to the storm, but we're in, this is the captain's cabin here, and his throne. So let me just drop all my wood again so we can see what we get. So his desk gives 40. His chair, 22 steel. These bags of, I guess they're gold, 19 a pop. And there's quite a few of these. That's 19 steel. I mean, everything in this guy's 
little cabin here is crazy. These barrels give 10. Look, I'm already... Oh, I, I walked over. I was going to say, I'm already maxed wood, but I walked over that wood. This thing in the back, 23. So even if you don't max out wood from the original starting point that I showed you, that octopus with the trident, everything in here is crazy. I mean, these pillars, 23 apiece. And there's there's a chest. Let's see if we can destroy this. The, the boxes are 7 apiece. It's absolutely incredible. So... If you come here and you don't at least get max wood and potentially 200 steel and brick, if you don't get those, you're doing it wrong because this ship is absolutely loaded with goodness. Now I'm going to try a speed run. I'm going to land here and hopefully it's unattested and we're going to try to get the 500 wood as fast as possible so I can title this video appropriately. All right, so I'm going to try the speed run here and unfortunately the bus is going right over Lazy Lagoon. However, it is at the end, so maybe I won't have that many people here. But I'm going to ignore everyone. I'm just going to try to get max wood, 500 wood, as fast as I can. And I won't know the answer because I'm going to put in the clock after I record it. And this is live, obviously, so I won't know how many seconds this is actually going to take. But the moment I land is when I'm going to put the timer on. So the moment my feet hit the ground... So I do see that there's a chest on the octopus, and normally, if, if I wasn't trying for a speed run here, I'd grab that. I'd totally grab it, and I would... Actually, this guy's going to grab it, so he's probably going to kill me. Let's see if I can... Okay. No, he's not. Okay, so I'm going to do this as fast as possible. We're going to put the timer on now. We're going to break. Let's see how fast this takes us. Hopefully, I don't get killed in the process. Because there is a guy right above us. All right. I did try to grab this weapon. And there's a slurp right here, but I just want max wood. I don't care if I die. As soon as we get max wood. I missed I, I missed the thing there. Okay, we're max wood. We are max wood right now. So I won't know. I won't know what the answer is until after I go in and edit this. But that was pretty quick. And I didn't even look at the clock when... Like the in-game clock here. But that's how fast you can do it. How crazy is that? Now imagine if I hadn't of just went for it right away and took my time and looted up. I mean, I could come out of here absolutely stacked. And that's what I love about this place. This place, probably the best place to land on the entire map. So much loot, so many ways to transport yourself out of here. The, the hamster balls, the cannons, the, the little vents in the, the rift type vents thing. It's crazy. The room I didn't show you before is his actual sleeping quarters. Now, let's see. There's more gold coins in here you can destroy. The table gives... That's just eight. His portrait... His portrait doesn't give much. 22. How about his sleeping quarters? 69. How about the chandelier? 20 steel. This whole area is just... I mean, if you come out... Like I said before, if you come out of this boat with... Anything less than 500, 200, 200, you're doing it wrong. Absolutely the case. All right, so I'm going to try another speed run here. This time I'm going to hit that wheel-like structure that's on the deck, and then I'm going to hit the octopus, and then I'm going to break down below. So the problem is, people always land here. So to do this speed run and not get killed is hard. I've died about five times now, so I wouldn't recommend trying this. Obviously, you want to grab a gun first, and then get your wood after the coast is clear. But... Since I'm trying to see how fast this is actually possible to do it in, I'm putting myself at a huge disadvantage, and I'm paying the price for it, and it's really irritating. All right, so there is a chest up there. You know what? I'm going to just... Okay, here we go. So the moment I started hitting this, I did grab the weapon just in case. Then we're going to pound this real quick. Let's see if we can get down to the very bottom. We broke the chest, unfortunately. Then you hit this part. Will this give us max wood right away? No. So you still have to at least go straight in here, and you can either hit this a few times... Or you can go straight to the pallets. It should only take one pallet, maybe one and a half. And there, there, that's it. So I don't know. I don't know which one's faster. Like I said, I'll be putting the timer in, in editing. So I have no idea which one actually is fastest and which one is second fastest. But regardless, getting 500 wood in, it's got to be under 30 seconds, is absolutely incredible. Can help you win the match, or at least the early start of a game. And not to mention that this place is just fully decked out in loot. You can get all kinds of incredible things on this ship. 
because there's so many chests, there's so many things that offer materials. I mean, this, hands down, is the best place to land, in my opinion, in the game at the moment. Now, even for duos or squads, because there's so many items on this ship, you could potentially deck out a whole squad and still have loot and materials to spare. So let me know in the comments, were you aware of just how resource friendly this ship was or is? I shouldn't say was, is. And if so, did you know about that octopus or maybe this chair giving so much material or the, the piles of gold? Were you aware of this place? Is this gonna be a place you're gonna start landing now? All right, so I wanted to show you guys the personal route that I take. So here's how I do this. There's a vending machine that can spawn right here. And unfortunately, it's not right here at the moment. And then you come down here and there's anywhere from zero to three chests right here. So in this case, we have two. I'll take it just for the sake of this example. Then you traverse your way through the water, come to this middle island area, and there's a weapon spawn inside here, as well as sometimes an ammo crate, and a chest spawn right here. That's just a single chest spawn. Then you make your way towards the area that I showed you before, and this is where you get your max wood instantly, within 30 seconds. You come down here. Now, if there's a chest spawn on top of the octopus, feel free to grab it that way. But otherwise, just as I did in the speed run, break that first, break this, and you're almost at 500 wood already, depending on if you chopped any trees down along your way. And then you can continue on in here and break the pallets to get 500. That is my ideal route. And if you get that vending machine off the bat, depending on what's in it, it could be one of the best routes in the game at the moment. I mean, several times I've seen purple or gold, and I can get a purple or gold item right off the bat, plus max wood, and then you can go up in the captain's lounge, we'll first loot all the chests and grab the steel and whatever else you wanna grab, and you should be good to go. You should be well on your way to at least having a decent game, if not winning the match. But that's all there is to it. Lazy Lagoon is a great place, and if you want max wood instantly, not clickbait, under 30 seconds, again, I don't know the time, I'm gonna see, Whatever the time is, I'm going to put it in the title. So, But like I said, Lazy Lagoon, best place to land, hands down. That route that I just showed you is my absolute favorite. You can use it in solos, duos, or even squads. So let me know in the comments, did you know about this? Did you know that you could get 500 wood in that quick of time? I mean, it absolutely boggles my mind how few people land here. Because this place is absolutely stacked with great loot, great materials, and it's just a perfect place to land. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Long live Corollas Rex.